Hi everyone, I'm Delisa Archer with American Singing Studio where we're training voices for success. And today we are going to do a reaction video on Disturbed Down With The Sickness. I've never heard this before. You guys were so excited about the last reaction video I did and a few of you uh, requested this one. So I'm excited to get into it. So let's listen. I don't care what nobody say that that ain't healthy that ain't right that i'm i'm in pain listening to him <laughs> oh my gosh ouch ouch jeez and we're only a minute and 49 seconds in and this is just i mean he sounds good but it just sounds so painful the thing is i have vocal empathy so i i'm feeling what he's doing i can see inside you the sickness is rising don't try Such a beautiful to voice, deny though. what you feel will you give it to me it seems that <laughs> all you give it to that me That was a lot, don't you think? That was a whole lot. Like, what am I really thinking? I'm thinking, most people, see when I was in, in my master's program, 
When I was at school, there was a girl that sang rock and was trying to be trained and is being trained now, obviously, as a classical singer. Um, I don't think that she necessarily is looking for a career in classical music, but if you want a degree in music or music ed, most likely you're gonna learn classical singing. And um, because she sang a lot of metal, she and she did a lot of the growling and all of that. She had some uh, unique, um, I guess, obstacles, you know, to get over. And I think one of them was just the sheer amount of tension that she brought to singing. Um, just a lot of um, tongue tension, jaw tension, throat tension in general, you know, the sound. Uh, would be kind of tight and that's something she would have to work on a lot to to make her sound even somewhat free um, and so I think that it set her back so I said that to say while wow, he's an amazing singer um, and he clearly sang at least 50 to 60 percent of that song in a growl I still think that people that do that are the exception to the rule, especially if he's able to sing like that and then turn around and sing the sound of silence as beautifully as he did. That's just not typical. So um, I would be interested because I saw some comments saying that he's learned to growl with the front of his chords as opposed to it being in his throat. And I don't really understand what that means because your entire vocal cord is in your throat, right? Um, singing with the front of the chords, um, that's what a whistle tone sound is like when, it, when your chords are bowed like this. This is a whistle tone like That's what that is. Um, That's the chords go to the front. So I don't know why they would say that. Um, and I would love to know what kind of forward singing would um, result in that sound. Um, yeah, I would love to know what that is because I know that people will say that there's a healthy way to do it, but I feel like scientifically, there's one way of doing that. And that is to overly press your chords together and put entirely too much pressure on your chords. Um, that is not vocal fry. Vocal fry is actually the exact opposite of that. Vocal fry is number one, a lower auxiliary, and number two, where the chords don't have enough pressure. So you're talking like this, and it's more of a bubbly sound, and that is not what he's doing. So yeah. Um, I would love for somebody to like give me a real study on what he's doing to tell me and, and convince me or give me any information at all that that's healthy. I don't know if I, I'm a guessing that's why you wanted me to hear it. Um, yeah, but I think he sounds great. And I, like I said, the fact that he's been able to do it for as long as he can, I think he's the exception. He's not the rule. But anyway, tell me, tell me what you think. I know you will. Tell me what you think. And uh, rate, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next time.